The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Episode Twelve. The battle between Aslan and his companions, and the White Witch and her armies, was all over a few minutes. Most of the enemies had been killed, but the witch was the only one that survived. When Aslan was going to kill her, Adam stopped him. He helped the witch to back Aslan. Please forgive her. Although she was cruel and wicked, she was very generous to give me Turkish delight. Lucy added to back Aslan for mercy. My teacher always teaches me to return good for evil, repay evil with good. Please, Aslan, don't kill her. Aslan thought for a while and was deeply moved by the kindness of Edmund and Lucy. You are lucky today. I will not kill you. However, you have to promise me not to hurt anybody," shouted Aslan at the witch. "I, I promise." The witch hesitated. Then Lucy took out the bottle that Father Christmas gave her before and dripped a few drops on the witch's wounds. The witch fully recovered again. After that, the witch redeemed and removed the spell from Narnia, which was suddenly full of lives and color. The sky was light blue. The clouds were in different shapes, and all the animals came out and played together happily. They didn't need to hibernate anymore because Narnia was no longer winter. Suddenly, the witch realized she was turned into a lovely rabbit. All of her trade immediately disappeared. Instead, she brought a lot of laughter to Nani and had been lived happily ever after. All of a sudden, they heard some noises. Father Christmas came. Turns out, he turned the witch into a rabbit. He also got a waltz for everybody. Peter, Adam's son, said Father Christmas. Here, sir," said Peter. "This is your award." With these words, he handed to Peter a certificate. The words on it were written in gold, which were as bright as the sun. "Congrats! You've already grown to be a teenager. From now on, please learn to take care of people all the time." Peter was very happy as he held the certificate. Edmund. Adam's son," said Father Christmas. "Although you went away at the beginning, you still came back to protect your siblings in the end. You also forgave the witch because of her kindness. These are for you." And he handed to Edmund a container of Turkish delight. Edmund took a bite and said, "Delicious." Last of all, he said, "Susan and Lucy, Eve's daughters." And they moved forward. Susan, you always take care of Lucy and make the right decision. Lucy, you use my bottle whenever people get hurt, even for the witch. You did a great job. Thank you for the Christmas. The four children sat delightedly together. After Father Christmas left, the siblings self-reflected and rebuilt their relationships. Edmund said. Thank you for saving me and didn't leave me what I did to you. I am so sorry. It's fine," said Susan. "You are my brother, and I will love you forever," said Lucy. Then they all hugged together tightly. They thought that they had gotten away from their parents for too long and missed them, so they decided to go back to the earth and find their parents. They said goodbye to Aslan, the witch, the rabbit, and everybody. This adventure is the most memorable experience. We learned to forgive people who want to change. We will miss you and come back to visit you one day. The four siblings walked towards the wardrobe and they waved their hands to Narnia sadly. After they had gotten back home, they grew up a lot. Peter acted as an adult and took care of the whole family. Edmund learned to share with others. He also appreciated the love with his siblings and no longer felt being unimportant. Susan and Lucy become more caring. Six months later, the four siblings wanted to go back to Narnia. They tried to look into the wardrobe, but to their surprise, the wardrobe couldn't lead to Narnia anymore. 
They stared at each other in tears because they knew that Nadia would only be in their memories forever. Thank you.